there were big sales in China recently. And of course, I prepared a collection of cool gadgets from AliExpress for you. Yesterday, I received this rather unusual pencil developed by the Mitsubishi company. It might seem that there is nothing innovative about an ordinary pencil. You have probably already figured out that such pencils use thin rods. When you write or draw with an ordinary pencil, the rod gets sharpened on the side. The contact area increases and the lines get too wide, so you need to turn it a little in your hand to make the line thinner and more distinct again. However, this pencil has a unique mechanism that rotates the rod to a certain angle after each press. That is, after each letter or line, the rod rotates and sharpens evenly on all sides. As a result, all lines should be of the same width. The principle of operation of this mechanism is shown on the package. Hopefully these pictures will be more clear to you. In addition, the Chinese have included rods of different color and an eraser, which I will also use with pleasure. There's something heavy in this box, it feels like a brick. It appears to be a rectangular tank containing a blue liquid and a pirate ship. But the most interesting thing happens when we tilt it from one side to the other. The blue liquid imitates seawater and waves start to rise inside of the tank, throwing the ship from side to side. We tilt it even harder, and a real storm with huge waves arises inside. The liquid makes it look like computer graphics in a video game. Probably, this gadget is kind of a stress relief toy, which can be placed on your desk and calm your nerves by looking at a small ship trying to survive a stormy ocean. Various small devices are powered by such batteries, which need to be changed regularly. Therefore, we spend a lot of money on them. But the Chinese thought that since the batteries are lithium, they can be recharged just like those of any smartphone. So, they invented such a small charging device for button cells. You just need to plug a power bank or a smartphone charger into it and insert the battery here. A red LED lights up, which means that the charging process has started. People in China are really smart, don't you think so too? I've been waiting for this gadget for a long time, so I want to try it out as soon as possible. It's a metal tube with hundreds of perforations, and it will help us turn this fish into a culinary masterpiece. Perhaps Cookie will get a piece too. To make the device work, we need fine sawdust from fruit trees. In our case, it's an apple tree. We need to fill the tube with this sawdust. In my case, it is too fine and falls out of the holes. Still, I hope that everything works out. Now, we need regular grill loaded with charcoal. Actually, you can do the same thing with a large bucket or pan. We put only a few coals far from the center of the grill. After that, we ignite our metal cigarette. It starts to emit white smoke, which we need for cooking. Place it on the bottom of the grill, cover it with a grate and lay the fish on top. But it's important to keep it away from the coals, otherwise it will get cooked too quickly. A minute later, I realized that there would be more smoke if I put the tube right on the coals. And I wasn't mistaken. Within 5 minutes, there was plenty of smoke. Now, we had to wait 1 hour for the fish to be deeply cooked and filled with flavor. Open the lid. Look at that, we have a real smoked fish. Pay attention to the golden color of the meat. I wish the camera would capture the smell that wafted over the street. Time to cut and taste it. The meat is so tender that it's falling apart. I guess it'll be easier to eat it with our hands. There is still half of the unburned sawdust left on the smoke generator. And of course, I will use it many times in the future. The Chinese made a solid and large package for our next gadget. But it turns out to be rather weak and broke during the delivery. But we are not too demanding, so we immediately get to the gadget itself. It turns out to be a device that looks like a flying saucer. Pressing the power button, we see a colorful rainbow and hear the voice saying something in the Chinese language. After that, we connect it to a smartphone and play music. 
turns out it's a Bluetooth speaker. Not a regular speaker, but a vibrating one. If you put it on some object, it starts to vibrate along with the speaker. And we hear the full sound with the bass. Moreover, we can remove the protective film from the vibrating part and find a reusable sticky disc underneath. It attaches even to vertical surfaces and turns them into a speaker. And when the adhesive tape gets dirty, you can just wash it with water. Also, this water allows us to see waves of vibration generated by the speaker. Still, the feature that caught my eye was its color variety. By pressing the button, you can choose not only dozens of equalizer models, but also countless options of color and types of shimmering. While working hard on the computer with headphones on, I often face problems when I take them off, because my desk is covered with other stuff and there is no place for the headphones, so they just join the clutter. To solve this problem, I had to call the Chinese and ask them for a solution. The very next day, I was holding this device with a spring-loaded jar, which firmly grasped the table and provided a special place to hang the headphones quickly and easily. And the turning mechanism allows me to hide everything under the table. This gadget will also come in handy for those who eat delicious food. It is a kind of a metal shell with a teflon coating and two rods that are attached to the parts of the shell. Now we need to take bread of a suitable shape and put one slice on each part of the shell. Take some cheese that we found in the fridge and put it on the bread as shown in the video. Put a sausage on top, add a little ketchup and carefully close the shell so that it squeezes everything together. Secure the handles with a bracket and now we need to go into the kitchen. Turn on the gas stove and heat our shell over the fire so that the contents are well baked. If you are tired of holding it, you can put it directly on the burner with a low flame. The important thing is to flip it over to the other side. In 5 minutes, we take out the contents and get this toasted closed sandwich. It has a hard crust which should probably make it even more flavorful and crispy. Oh yeah, look at this masterpiece! The cheese is melted, the sausage is warmed up, and in general, this dish is incredibly delicious. You can probably put anything you want instead of a sausage inside. After using silicone caulk, we often lose the cap from the tube. Or it may be not included at all. Of course, you can seal it with a masking tape, but the Chinese have invented a special tiny red caps for such purposes. Just pull them on the nozzle, like this, and the cork in the tube won't dry out. It can be removed in the same way, turning back into a small red cap ready to use. Check out this cool box containing a kit, with the help of which we can make a real low-cost radio receiver with our own hands. The assembly process is quite simple and quick. First, we screw the speaker to the front panel, the circuit board with the antenna to the rear panel, plug in the connectors and assemble the parts of the body together. This is the most interesting part. Pay attention to the pattern cut on the side panels. Thanks to it, the hard plywood can be bent to any angle up to 90 degrees without any difficulties. I have no idea how they came up with this, but it works great. Stick the soft pads to the bottom of the device. And our Chinese radio is ready. What a nice cool looking device. Time to pull out the antenna and turn it on. And it works. Stations are found automatically and you can switch between them at the touch of a button. If you are interested in any of these gadgets, as always, all the links are in the description.